Have you ever wondered what you really need to feel happy? Maybe it's a few simple things, like being surrounded by a peaceful, crystal clear and secluded body of water leaving all your worries behind. Or maybe it's meeting the sunrise and enjoying the captivating morning mist, indulging yourself in a cup of coffee. How's it going, my esteemed viewers? You're watching Igor run a boat, and today, we're going to take a journey to explore Jack Tar J30, Black Vision Edition. In this comprehensive review, my intention is to take a deep dive into the captivating subtleties of the Black Vision's interior and exterior designs. Although the vessel's hull remains the same, its character is full of new expressions. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. J30's length is 30 feet or 9.6 meters. With the bowsprit and engines, it makes 35 feet or 10.6 meters. The boat's beam is 100 inches or 2.5 meters. Distinctive features of this modification include a full panoramic glass bulkhead, redesigned shapes of side windows, and the exquisite Atlas II Raider mast. Now, let's take a look at the hull of the boat, focusing on all the tiny components installed. A dynamic pairing of twin 300 Verado engines is powering this vessel, which perfectly matches the boat's design. When fully loaded, the boat's draft reaches about a foot and a half ensuring optimal performance in different conditions. Let's move to the aft part, where you can find these black anodized welded stern eyes. Each of them are equipped with stainless steel inserts, both of which can be used to tow or to even lift the vessel. Cleats are made of anodized black aluminum. Old pump fittings and drain holes are in sleek and elegant black, matching perfectly with the Black Vision style. Here's a self-training deck scupper passage and there is another one right there. The self-draining deck has two scuffers located in the front and the rear. Here you can find the drainage of the deck storage compartment, the Vibasto exhaust outlet, both the pump and galley fittings, and the freshwater tank vent cap. At the bow and aft part of the cabin, you can find quick release fittings. It's really convenient because it allows you to fasten the fender in a blink of an eye as well as quickly unfasten it. There is also a freshwater tank filler cap, which can contain up to 26.4 gallons. There are nice solid black painted railings, aluminum midship cleat, neatly curved front cabin port lights, the rear having a ventilation hatch, a horn, LED navigation lights, and a quick release for the bow fender. In the bow, there's a cleat, and two fender lockers that can easily accommodate both fenders. The boat is equipped with a Lumar 1000 windlass, which comes with a 98.5 foot chain. The bow chain locker allows to store even more of the anchor chain if necessary. Now, the J30 cockpit. The first thing we notice is the transom storage, where it can keep fenders, ropes, or other equipment. There is also an option to convert this huge locker into a live well. Along the entire rear part, there's a one and a half inch diameter black railing, where you can mount fishing rod holders. The deck washdown system is right here on the transom. Next to it is a fuel tank cap. The tank on this boat is 209 gallons, black anodized cleat, and the deck and gunnels that are covered in permateak, a high quality gray synthetic teak produced in the United Kingdom. It's also pretty easy to look at 
and any stains, like oil or even red wine, can be easily taken care of with just a sandpaper. The surface is not slip even if wet. It also has great UV resistance and it does an excellent job at providing good traction throughout the entire deck surface. The only drawback that I would like to point out is that the roof is slippery. So you should be extremely careful when stepping on the roof surface since there's absolutely no anti-slip coating there. The spacious cockpit will serve you well of various activities. The side cushions are soft, practical and pleasant to the touch, providing you with good supported docking. Even in stormy conditions, if the boat rocks abruptly, you won't feel any discomfort. Moreover, the cockpit can easily be transformed into an outdoor dining area. The folding seats can be easily set up in a working position. In the center, there's a fitting for a quick table installation. To install the table, screw in the telescopic leg, adjust it to whatever height you desire, and place the table. Once the table is in place, the side sections unfold for convenience, and the table can be easily rotated. To secure it, just use this handle. As easy as that. The Vibasto diesel heaters are installed in both the port and starboard side sections in the front part of the cockpit. The diesel heaters get their air intake from the outside, which results in them being pretty much soundless when you're in the cabin. There are two speakers of the audio system in the front part, and there is a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit storage in the left corner. You can use the storage box to get on or off the vessel, as well as getting on the roof. The Atlas II Tilted Raider mask carries various equipment, including a Raymarine Quantum Raider, a Go Light LED searchlight with remote control from the cabin, a Raymarine rear view camera that displays the image on the sharp plotter, an LED cockpit floodlight from Rigid Industries, and a top Helimarine anchor light. The mast has a simple and unique folding system, which allows the boat to pass under low bridges. For that, take two aluminum support poles, first insert one using the quick connect fitting. By the way, the poles are telescopic and we can adjust their height. All you have to do is press the button to start folding the mast. Then attach the fitting to the slot, securing it. Then insert the second support That's it, the mast is secure. Tighten up the brackets to fix them in place for safety reasons. The mast can withstand significant loads and is extremely sturdy, so it won't loosen up and you won't have to question the reliability of the system. There's nothing that could indicate an unreliable assembly. You can even stand up on it. That's the swim platform door, smartly secured with a magnet. The swim platform is 35.4 inches long, giving us all the walking space we could possibly need. Although the engines are trimmed, nothing is in the way and you can easily move around. Here's the telescopic rescue ladder, attached to the boat on two hinges. The ladder is stowed in a special recess to prevent any obstruction or damage while moving around. The engine is mounted on the reinforced transom on the 6-bolt fastener, even though the manual says 4 is enough. This is a quick-release mechanism to attach any of your equipment. 
battery compartments are completely sealed. In the right compartment there are two engine batteries. In the left one, there are two service batteries. The total capacity of a service battery is 250 amps. The rear panoramic glass looks just stunning in my opinion. The lines and shapes blend in perfectly with the boat. There are powerful magnets on the top and bottom of the hinge door, which do an excellent work at tightly securing the door open. The other magnets can be found at the top railing here and at the bottom there next to the fire extinguisher. Let's finally take a look at what's in the interior of the Jaktar J30's Black Vision Edition. So, we're inside the J30. The first thing that catches the eye is the panoramic glazing, which gives us a beautiful 360 view from any place inside the cabin. In my opinion, the design of the glazing and the decorative panels is a perfect combination of sharp geometric shapes and smooth lines. The black elements faultlessly blended in the interior of the boat perfectly reflect the very concept of black vision. The overhead instrument panel is used to control all the lights on the boat, ceiling lighting, ambient lighting, as well as locker lighting. We can also turn on the bow lights if installed, and the anchor light. We got a Zipwake automatic stabilization system installed right here, which allows you to maintain the roll and pitch of the boat while you're cruising in automatic mode. The driver console made in a minimalistic exquisite style, making your experience even more fabulous. The panel is made of a high quality thick half an inch soft field plastic. The black anodized steering wheel is trimmed with leather contrast stitching and has a built-in tilt mechanism. The boat has a Raymarine navigation system. It consists of an Axiom chart plotter on both of the sides. There is also an autopilot display, an all-battery control system from Seamarine, diffusion stereo system, two Vibasta remote controls, and the control switches for the horn, as well as a water heater, two bilge pumps, and the Vibasta control panel. The side console is made in the same style as the front one, with an exquisite soft touch plastic installed on it. The Verado Digital Throttle is at your fingertips, so you can operate smoothly. The position of the throttle between the steering wheel and this so-called armrest, where you can just place your hand, is absolutely perfect in terms of comfort. There is also a Vibasso channel. Behind the throttle, you can find a Raymarine card reader, where you can insert your CMAP charts. The wiper control is conveniently placed here. It has two modes, fast and slow. Below is the joystick of the bow thruster system by side power. Here we have the button to control the Windlass Lumar 1000, and here is the active trim system that automatically adjusts the position of the engines when going at different speeds. The boat is equipped with the modern remote battery switch system by Blue Sea, which includes the two switches for the port and starboard engine here a both rusted battery switch and behind them you can find the stainless steel cup holder. The helm seat is equipped with a comfortable foot support which allows you to comfortably travel long distances. The front passenger seat is equipped with the same support. The circuit breakers panel can be found under the console. In order to service it you don't even have to stand up from your seat. It's all handy. Every individual thermal fuse is automatic. Ergonomic seats for the captain and the passengers are made of quality synthetic material with a good side support with small pockets on each one of the sides with a slide mechanism which allows to adjust the seat to your needs. Shock absorbing suspension, the bolster mechanism for docking in marinas. It's very comfortable and reliable. It sets your back at ease. It's just a pleasure to sit on it. Trust me, you'll feel the difference as soon as you sit on it. I'd say it makes your long journeys feel shorter and cozier, even in stormy conditions. The seat is absolutely adjustable and coupled with foot support, it effortlessly conforms to your height and weight, so you're free to sit and move to your liking.
Under the driver's seat, there's a 4.2 gallon freezer produced by Webasto Isotherm. Chamber cools food down to zero Fahrenheit. It can also be used as a regular refrigerator. On the opposite side, there's a storage compartment for belongings, which can be equipped with an optional extendable drawer. The passenger console, a lot like the captain's one, has the same light and elegant design pattern. The design is highlighted by sharp and flowing lines made in jack tar style, fashioned by the glove box lid. Down here is a bold leather handle with a jack tar logo. In the top left corner, there is a place to install a VHF radio and a convenient attachment for the PTT, so the wire is out of sight and doesn't bother you. It is usually the case when the PTTs are attached on top, but there's nothing to step in the way here. The wire is removed to the side, and the PTT is hung on the side as well. There's a special place for this right here. The glove box has a lid, and the handle supports it, so we have a great working space where you could do your work. You can easily put a 16-inch laptop here and work with comfort. Here you can also place a power bank for charging or a hard drive to work. Two 20 by 20 inch Rebasto hatches are both located next to each other along the ceiling. The hatches have an easy sliding and venting mechanism. The Boeing style side lockers are located on driver and passenger sides under the ceiling. Each compartment is connected and has two lids so that you could easily take out any piece of equipment which could either be placed in the right or the left section, or you could also put one long item there, such as a spinning rod. There are open storages on each side of the boat where you are easily allowed to stow various items. You can put objects up to six and a half feet long. For example, here are the rods for tilting the radar mast, their length being approximately five feet, nine inches. In this spot, we have the telescopic leg of the table and the supports for the sleeping place. These storages are convenient because if you were to sit on the sofa with a backpack on, you could easily put it behind you and it would not bother you whatsoever. It's all within quick reach. The storages are laminated with marine carpeting, so nothing rattles or gets damaged inside, and it provides additional heat and noise isolation. Side sofas of comfortable backrests. They're made of a combination of gray and black material with orange stitching and have an asymmetrical design which is made in the jack tar style. The Black Vision modification features enlarged side sofa storage compartments. They are fully welded in. <coughs> Calling it big would be an understatement. Let me just go ahead and show you what I mean. A man like me can easily fit into this compartment. There are four slots in the compartment lids that are necessary to install the parts to secure the bench bed. The deck in the cockpit is made of quality non-slip plastic. There is a compartment in the floor where you can store bench cushions and other equipment. The side seats of J30 have a built-in sliding bench bed mechanism installed. Let's go ahead and grab one of these cushions from the bottom compartment. The cushions are heavy enough since they have a rigid base and it's not that easy to get them out. I think this is a bit of a drawback, but still since this bed is not intended to be used very often, that excuses the flaw and makes it reasonable. So to set up a sleeping spot, we need four supports, which this place is equipped with. Insert the supports in the slots of the seats. One, two, three, and four. It is simple, reliable, and easy to use. After inserting the supports, put the cushions, both of them, they fit perfectly. It's quite rigid. Because the place is equipped with four separate supports, we get a very solid base and a firm bed. We can stand on the edge, the pillow will not topple over. I think it will withstand any weight, lengthwise. 
I am six feet tall and we have like 15, 20 inches extra. I would say there is definitely more than enough room for two here. Width wise, it's four foot six inches. So I guess the length here is around eight foot two since you have those open storage compartments where your legs can fit in easily. I cannot stress enough how comfortable and spacious it is. The galley of J30 has another storage for seasonings and other items. Underneath there's a rounded porthole and another compartment for cooking equipment. Two separate lids that cover the sink and the gas stove. The faucet is retractable. Both hot and cold water is supplied from the basic tank of fresh water containing 26 gallons. The 5.3 gallon boiler produces hot water, which can work both from 12 volts and from the shore power of 220 volts. On the left side of the block, there is a handy net pocket for various items. A drawer for crockery and the middle drawer for cutlery with a push bowl mechanism. The 18.5 gallon top loading fridge is very useful. You can put everything upright and fill it to the top. The refrigerator is made of stainless steel and has a secure lock as well as the temperature control. The galley unit is convenient for cooking and when you cook, you put the lid down and that's your cooking surface. While you wash the dishes, you use the sink, having the dirty dishes to the right. Very convenient, handy, and thoughtful. You can imagine how great it is to cook with panoramic glazing, to look at the evening sunset, and even if the weather is harsh outside, it'll still be very cozy. Rounded portholes will provide good ventilation, and the storages will help you quickly put ergonomics in your kitchen clearance. This grab handle can also come in handy when you experience a little turbulence. The upstairs hatch also provides a good ventilation for all the unnecessary cooking smoke to escape. The only thing that I think is missing here is light above the kitchen. Because as you can see, there's a light spot right here and it's covered by the grab handle. And I feel like we could use some extra light here for obvious convenience reasons. The J30's head has an all glass wing door, which is also built into the wall. Note that the design of this door is made to match with the overall aesthetic of the boat. The head is about six foot five inches in height, making it pretty tall. There is also enough space to stand comfortably and turn around. The toilet by the medic is made of extremely high quality ceramics. And at the very bottom of the head, there's a water drain installed for the shower. Here you'll find two small shower trays for your shower accessories, a minimalistic shower head, flush and drain swishes, the toilet is electric, and it has a 10 gallon black water tank. The hot cold water faucet from Hanspro is conveniently located and easy to use. The glass has a round porthole for good ventilation. And over here on the top you have some towel hooks. Okay, we're in the bow of J30. That is a hatch of the bow compartment of the anchor chain, aka bow fender storage. Here we can observe an open superstructure made of 0.3 inch aluminum frames. In my experience, there aren't all that many boats nowadays that could boast such a mighty and serious power set in their hull. You really understand that for this boat, there is very little, almost nothing to be afraid of. In the front of the bow compartment, there are two drains for water coming from the bow recess and the anchor chain channel. The front cabin is equipped with three rather big storage compartments. Let's see what's inside. In the front, there is the bow thruster control panel. Two side ones serve as storage lockers. In the front of the driver's and passenger's side, there are open pockets equipped with USB sockets. 
Three Halimarine Euro LED lights fill up the cabin with soft and warm light. On both sides of the cabin, there are useful net pockets with black wood trims. The Bosto deflectors are located in the ceiling part of the cabin and have airflow direction control. The side portholes can be opened for ventilation purposes and are equipped with mosquito nets. The cabin is six foot too long and is equipped with soft comfy cushions that are made of quality, easy to wash synthetic material with orange stitching designed in the jack tar technique. The cabin is engineered for a comfortable stay of two people. The foredeck is a very handy thing on this vessel. When mooring to the wild shore, especially for fishing or just sunbathing, the foredeck is completely flat. There's nothing in the way for you to walk. It is coated with Permatech covering, so it is not slippery in any footwear. In the front, there is an anchor winch installed and two storage compartments where you can easily place big fenders. The fenders are very easy to fix. You can secure them on the sides of the roof so they're not in the way. There's no need to install any fender baskets which usually hinder your view. Just simply stow them in the storage. Close it up and you're done. Well, looking at all the changes in the Black Vision modification, I'm simply wondering how is this thing even real? We've managed to combine a rigid, I would even say aggressive, brutal appearance with the refined elegance of modern Scandinavian minimalism and emphasize all these insanely beautiful transitions of hull lines chiseled like rocks in smooth minimalist modern contours of the panoramic windows and accentuated by the black color boat details. It looks just amazing. And the most important thing is that it all looks like one monolithic and very coherent element which pleases, I would even say, caresses the eye with its shapes. I think everyone would agree that this boat is a symphony because of the right combination of colors and design and considering features like overall width that allows to tow it by any SUV without any special permissions on any road. On top of that, it's perfect for the parties of four and it has the increased fuel tank capacity of 210 gallons. It's fast, it's strong, it's durable. The Jaktar J30 got it all. This vessel is beyond competition. Sure, it's pricey and luxurious. It's not only for those who need to get from point A to point B, but it is also for those who seek an S-tier watercraft where all interior and exterior details are in unison with each other, forming something that's not just a boat, but rather a whole new lifestyle. So, I hope you like my review. I did my best to cover every single detail possible. If you have any questions, write them in the comments and I'll make sure to answer. Drop a like, see you soon, bye.